Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli out here in the shop, and in today's shop, we're doing our walkthrough video of the 2023 tournament rig. I'm so excited to show you my brand new bass boat for the year. Uh, man, every year I spend a lot of time making sure these boats are rigged correctly, making sure these boats have the equipment to let me perform out on the tour. So, so excited to show you this. Um, let's start with the boat itself. Uh, this year, once again, I'm running the 2023 Bass Cat Cougar FTD. And I love this boat. And as I do the walkthrough, I'm going to show you some of the features of this boat. Um, powering this boat, once again, there it goes. I know you know what this thing is. That's the Yamaha SHO VMAX, the show. Uh, this is a four-stroke motor. It's a 250 horsepower. It's amazing. Uh, one of the things I love about the Yamaha is it's a real workhorse. And if you know my style of fishing, you know that I'm hard on equipment. And this thing really does take a licking and keeps on running, just keeps, keeps running no matter what. So I love that. It's great on gas, great on oil, a um, lot of horsepower. So excited to be back with that show. Um, you know, a lot of guys will rig their motor, um, you know, right to the back of the transom. But I've been a big believer in a jack plate for a lot of years. And if you come to the back here, I'm going to show you that this is a really key feature for me. Uh, and that's that TH Marine Atlas uh, hijacker plate. Um, the great thing about this jack plate it gives me the ability to get it really, really low in rough water, uh, you know, big waves. Man, I want that thing in the water. I want that thing low. But it also gives me the ability to get this motor really high out of the water. And that's what you need for shallow water, uh, trying to get up on plane in real shallow water. So Yamaha Show rigged on the Atlas plate. Um, on the plate, of course, power poles power poles and I would be lost without these things um, uh, once again I'm running the eight footers I like the smaller poles these are two eight foot blades by power pole the great thing about the power poles are they're multi-use uh, great for boat positioning when you're trying to fish a piece of cover or structure uh, great for stopping to retie stopping to land a fish um, even at the end of the day launching the boat, putting the boat on the trailer, I'd be lost without these things. So uh, two poles, eight foot power poles. And I wanna show you something that I do on this boat that is really unique. And it's how I rig my structure scan transducers for my Lowrance units. And I put two on instead of one. Come down here and I'm gonna explain it to you. All right, if you look here guys, I've got not one, but two structure scan transducers from Lowrance mounted on either side of the plate. Um, and these are great mounts. They mount directly to my jack plate. Uh, these are uh, transducer shield savers. Been working with these guys for a long time to make a great mount. But the reason I do too is these things can get abuse. Um, if you're bumping around stumps, if you hit a rock, if you bump into a dock, uh, if you're on pad and you accidentally hit something on pad, these things are loaded with crystals. So if one gets damaged in the course of a tournament or a practice, I can very easily switch over to my other one. So I've got a right side and a left side structure scan transducer, and that's critical to the way I fish. Um, you know, on this year's boat, I also put a YOLO Tech uh, action cam stand. The great thing about this one is it's great for my GoPro, but it also houses uh, my, my backlight. So great combination of capturing fishing, but have the light on it as well. All right, now I want to get you to the powerhouse of the 2023 boat, and that's the batteries that run this thing. So I want you to come with me. Let's take a look inside this box, and you're going to see the foul-proof system I've created. All right, guys, here it goes. Um, you know, this was a very well thought out plan on how to create 
a battery system that would give me power no matter what. You know, to, to create a system to always have power, even if an emergency happens, even if something drastic happens, something, something major happened, it would give me the ability to still fish and get through the day. Um, and I've done that with lithium batteries. And uh, so happy to have been, wor been working with ProGuide now for a few years. And ProGuide makes these amazing lithium batteries to give you this system to be able to have power at all time. Uh, let me start on the trolling motor side. And for this year's system on the trolling motor, I'm running two 36 volt batteries, okay? These are 36 M50s, and I'm running two in series, okay? So two 36s in series, that's gonna run my trolling motor. But if you look, you're gonna see something, and that is a third 36 uh, M50 in the back. And that's that reserve battery that I was talking about. And so the concept of this system with three 36 volt batteries is two to run the trolling motor. If something ever happened, whatever it is, uh, you know, just freaking nature, something went wrong, I have that other 36 sitting in reserve. And with the simple turn of a switch, I could get to that battery and run all day, run for days probably. So I'm gonna show you the switch. So here's my switch. And you know, if you look at this switch, it gives me the ability to run my main 236 volt batteries. If I get in a situation where for some reason I need to go to my reserve, I just turn my switch, I go to my backup battery, and I'm ready to rock. So pretty awesome system that gives me power no matter what. All right, here we are on the other side. And on this side, I'm running two 31M100 series lithium batteries. Uh, so two 31 batteries in series. Uh, once again, Pro, Pro Guide Lithium. The great thing about these batteries, they're light. They weigh just a hair over 20 pounds. They've got the, of course, the voltmeter on them so you can check your status of your battery. But just like the trolling motor side, if something happened here, and by the way, these batteries are running my Yamaha, they're running my live wells, my lights, my electronics. If something would happen, I simply go in that hatch, I turn a switch, and I go to my spare 31M100, and I have power no matter what. So really, really, uh, really cool strategic system that uh that the guys over at bass tank helped me put in uh pro guide batteries have power no matter what all right let's keep going to the front of the boat all right guys now we are at the console of the bass cat i want to show you a couple of the features here you know i spend a lot of time sitting here I spend a lot of time in the driver's seat looking and studying the graphs so this is an important spot um, you know the graphs are for sure um, probably one of the most important pieces of equipment on this boat. And I rigged side-by-side uh, -side Lowrance HDS-12s. And the mount that I've been putting this thing on, about three years running now, is the Boat Logix mount. Man, talk about tough. Uh, I have really put this thing through the test from uh, big waves, rough water, to literally going under trees and hopping logs. And the Boat Logics mount have been amazing for me. So dual 12s mounted on the Boat Logics mount. Now, the way that I've got these set up, I want to tell you a little bit about how I'm utilizing these. And my left 12, I'm utilizing for mapping and standard 2D sonar. My right side HDS 12, I'm utilizing for down imaging and side imaging. And between those two graphs, all that information really helps me piece the puzzle together of what I'm looking at. So uh, super, super important. I've got, uh, if you look down here at the steering wheel, I've got, I call them turn signal switches. So I've got one for my trim. I've got one for my jack plate. 
and they're right there at my fingers. Awesome spot for it. Um, I always mount this JL uh, radio in here. I'll be honest with you. I don't use it a lot in the tournaments, but when I'm fun fishing or relaxing, sure is nice to have a little sound in the boat as well. So JL audio stereo system. Uh, and then of course, the power pole uh, switch is right here at the console. And I've got it up down, right at my fingertips to let me to stop and go. All right, let's keep going, guys. You know, I spent a lot of time on the deck as well, uh, retying at night uh, in, the, in the early morning hours, preparing for a tournament. Uh, and we did TH lighting in red all around. The thing I love about the red, it looks cool, but the great thing about the red, it's not blinding. It gives you just enough light to see uh, without blinding you. It also doesn't attract the bugs, which I love. All right, let's keep going to the front. Okay, uh, we're in the front of the boat. Um, another area I spend a lot of time on, especially when I'm actually engaged in fishing. Uh, and one of the things I always have on these boats are power pole paddles or, or pedal switches right here near the, troll, near the uh, pedal of the trolling motor. So, you know, my general rule of thumb is I put the down button on the right because I'm right-handed, predominantly right-handed. I put the up button on the left. And just with a touch, you know, I'm going to be able to go up or down. So really key piece of equipment, puts it right at my feet. The other thing I put on every single boat, I did it again this year, is the TH Marine HydroWave unit. And if you're not familiar with the HydroWave, a HydroWave is a sound unit. It's a sound device. And um, I'm able to adjust the sound, especially for fish that are schooling or fish that are grouped up. I've really found this thing to be effective. So uh, definitely wanted to have that on the boat. And then to the graphs. And once again, uh, great thing about working with the folks at Bass Tank is this is their specialty, guys. This is their specialty, is coming up with a system to really uh, maximize your fishing using sonar. And they did an amazing job. Uh, rigging these uh, sonar units up and up front I'm actually running three units all on boat logics mount once again and for my big 12s I've got two 12s and this is a boat logics mount that's a stackable so I've got a HDS 12 up top HDS 12 on the bottom and that top HDS 12 is strictly for 100% for my active target. Uh, this has been such a game changer in the sport of fishing. Um, you know, it's just something you have to learn to utilize. So this is so important to me that I have a dedicated 12 just for active target. And I always want that unit to be my top unit, to be the highest unit. Below that one, I have a second HDS 12, and I usually will split screen this one and I'll do a combination of uh, traditional 2D and down scan or 2D side imaging or a three box I use a lot, which is 2D side imaging and down scan in combination. Between those two tools, active target, down imaging, side imaging, 2D, it really shows me everything that's down there. And then you're going to notice, though, you're going to say, well, what about that third unit? And this is the Lowrance HDS-9, a little bit smaller unit, on a separate boat logics mount. And the reason I have that there is I always want one of these units up front to be strictly for mapping. I don't want to take away any of that image on these two 12s, but mapping is important. And I have this 9 as a dedicated mapping unit. And I usually split screen this map. And what I'll do in my split screen is I split screen it between Navionics and C-Maps, which is a Lowrance mapping. And when I do that, it really helps me follow the contours, shows me the drop-offs, the high spots, and I love to cross-reference. So by using Navionics on one side, C-Maps on the other, 
it gives me sort of the same but different look at the cover and the structure that I'm fishing. So super amazing rigging job by the guys at Bass Tank. All right, last but not least, uh, definitely one of the most important things on the boat is the trolling motor. And once again, guys, I'm running the Ghost by Lowrance. It's 130 pounds of thrust. Uh, amazing motor it's been great for me the last few years um, and of course you know when you look at how the guys at Bass Tank rigged this up nice and clean a nice clean install with all my uh, sonar cables my active target super clean install um, but I do want to show you something that's really cool on this troll motor and that is a product made by TH Marine it's called a troll tamer and this little troll tamer allows me to get this motor locked into place. So I want you to look at this thing. And basically the troll tamer is just a, it's a sort of a little metal peg that stops this troll motor from bouncing in rough water. But the great thing about the troll tamer is it actually locks it into place. So I love that big water, uh, rough runs, long runs. This is, this is really, really key. So I'll show you how it works. So you put it down, locks into place. Right now when it's locked, I can't lift it. Even when I pull the cord, I can't lift it. But simply by using my foot and pulling that piece back, it allows that, that pointy piece to, to come up. I deploy my ghost and I'm ready for business. When I'm done fishing, come back and it's locked again. Um, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough video. I'm really, really excited to put this 2023 Bass Cat uh, uh, Cougar FTD to the test. Running that Yamaha SHO, Lowrance Electronics Power Pole, and all this other stuff, I think it's going to be a great year. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough video. Maybe some of these tips are something you want to try. Uh, let me remind you, if you've been watching these shops and you like what you're seeing, do me a favor, stop right now, subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. If you do that, we've got brand new content coming to you every single week. If you're already subscribed, tell your friends about Mike Iaconelli Fishing on YouTube. We're here to teach and educate and hopefully help you become a better angler. Uh, I'm ready to go fishing and stop talking. Bye.